Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Been having an earthquake swarm along the Fish Lake Fault Zone. This is part of the uh, Walker Lane Fault Zone. So far in the last 24 hours, there's been 60 earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 4.2. Being in a remote location, only two people said they felt it. This fault runs all the way up towards Silver Peak where they have lithium mines. And it probably runs all the way down uh, Death Valley, maybe even connecting up with the Garlock Fault Zone. Not quite sure, but it sure looks like it here on uh, Google Earth. This is also part of the Furnace Creek Fault Zone. And this fault is about 120 miles long, meaning it's capable of having a large earthquake. And it's broke down into three different sections. Here we got the uh, Fish Lake Valley Fault Zone. It also is called the Death Valley, uh, the Northern Death Valley Fault Zone, and the Furnace Creek Fault Zone. It is a right lateral uh, fault. It's also capable of having thrust earthquakes. Only two people said they felt the magnitude 4.2. And on the Did You Feel It fault, um, website, yeah, uh, one response came from uh, Fresno, it looks like. The focal mechanism ball for the 4.2, you can see how the fault moved uh, going south a little bit, going east. One day, the uh, Walker Lane Fault Zone will be the dominant fault zone. Um, yeah, right now it takes up, oh, about 25% of the pressure of the movement of the North American plate. Yes, yeah, considered a new fault, a young fault, and it's still developing. So, yeah, kind of surprising. We've got a little swarm going on here. Uh, did you feel it? More likely not for me. People did feel it. Unless um, they're working up there at um, the lithium mine at um, Silver Creek Mountain, I believe. Or maybe um, some of these ranchers. They're over here um, doing their crops. I don't know. But if you did, put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.